just before we get into making a kit, I'll just try the lo-fi setting on the timeline here, which is a bit of fun as well. I should mention, we've still got all the voices on here as well. Let's just turn the drone off and put the other voices on. Lots of fun, but let's make one from scratch. As usual, we'll start with an initialized kit. That is the pattern. We'll just mute these other ones for now. Okay, step here, we'll have on MIDI channel four. So we'll put this voice into channel four. Make sure none of the others are on channel four. Note is any. So now we can play this. Let's put up a saw wave. Sounds a bit sick because we've got pitch modulation on, so we take that off. Turn that amplitude up. Leave it reasonably modest just for now. Leave the filter a little bit down so we've got some room to play with. And if we start the pattern up, that's what we've got. So the whole thing actually depends upon using the LFOs of all these other voices. So if we Go to the LFO, but on the slowest speed possible. Put a square wave. The destination will be oscillator course tuning. So then we get effectively four bars. So now with 16 steps, we've got that nice change. And then the rest of it is really just using the LFOs of the other voices to modulate certain parameters in sync. So with LFO on voice three, we want it to affect voice two. So you jump back there, but anyway, we'll get back to that. Make this a square wave as well. I find sometimes it's like you're on the edge and it goes, oh no, you're too close to the edge. So I'll sort of quantize it back to some other value. Let me be careful with that. Destination for this one, we'll have as, well, it could be envelope decay. That 
could be interesting. Let's try that. So we'll go back to voice two. Take the decay down a bit. Actually, we'll go into the FM as well. Just line that up there. Ready for another modulator. Let's see what we've got though, just with uh, this one, which was on the decay. So there it is short. There it is a bit longer. That's not too bad. We've got a moderate length and a long length. So let's keep that there. The next LFO. Let's have this. Well, I have this long as well. Let's go uh, saw down. Not to affect voice two. My destination for this one. FM amount. Let's see what we get. can see it's starting to do something. Let's go to the next one. Voice two. It'd be nice if there were different values you could put into here other than just four and one. It'd be nice to have a three and one, but anyway. Waveform for this. Well, let's keep it on sign. That's all right. Voice two, destination. The other one was FM amount. So this one will go FM frequency. So we've got the FM frequency with a sine wave. Who knows? Let's see. Thank you. 
Okay, so what we've got so far is LFO modulating the coarse tuning, the amplitude decay, the FM amount, the FM frequency. This one, let's put it on something voice to destination. We'll just do the classic filter frequency. Keep it on sign. Yeah, let's see what we get with this. the core oscillator sound. Let's see what we get with this one. play this from the keyboard but the LFOs are running at their own rate I mean they're all synced to a clock but pressing keys on the keyboard doesn't do anything really except change change the bass pitch but you'll recall we've got the LFO on voice two on the course tune. So if we just keeping on hitting the same note, that's going to change anyway. Let's give some lo-fi effects to this. See where we are before we assign the last couple of LFOs. Those default sounds make it seem a bit ordinary, doesn't it? So we'll leave them off for now. Thank you. 
if you like grinding industrial filth, what a fine machine it is. Until next time, see ya.